Hello, hello guys, my name is Techno B, and today I got a special surprise for you. We are doing some building in default. Uh, we're gonna learn how to build this awesome little wine plantation right behind me. Um, fairly simple, doing it in default too, and the world download will be in the link without this in it, but you can download the world that I'm building it in. And um, yeah, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do in order to build this epic vineyard of awesomeness um, is to get a world, get a flat world. Um, I'm in one that I got off planet Minecraft from uh, Lemon Fox, I believe his name was. I don't know. I do not know. Let's see. Let's look at all these blocks we have here. Let's look at a log. Where, where are these called? Wood? Um... I want to use dark oak. I like dark oak. This is up to you. It's completely not my call whatsoever. Um, I like to use dark oak. Okay, that's my personal preference. Next, we are going to get some stone bricks. You can mix these up just a wee, just a wee bit. And we are going to work on the actual plantation today, and then I'll show you guys how to make an awesome, uh, an awesome little, uh, whatchamacallit, vineyard to go along with it. So here you come up one, two, three, four, call it five, all right? And then you're gonna skip a block, okay? Let's grab some, nope, not that stuff. That stuff, just make this a little easier on us. Um, I am using default. Default's gonna be a lot easier to build with for you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do that. So you're gonna skip one, come up three, delete that one, go across three, come up three, skip one, go up another five. Like, that's not five, that's six. And you're gonna repeat. One, two, three, break. One, two, three, oops. And then again, I am screwing up, screwing up, and then we're gonna come here. And then you're gonna come up five. And then there you go. This is pretty much gonna be like the front of it. And then back behind here, you can fill this up with stone. Um, completely up to you um, whether or not you guys do choose to mix the stone type or not that's not my that's not my decision to make um and here you're going to come up one last one and you're going to bring it out just one and then you're going to bring this across just like that um just to add kind of like a cross beam um you want to make sure that you've got these ones facing outwards this minecraft music is going to irritate me i don't like minecraft music all right um ooh, excuse me that was disgusting um all right, now that you have that done, um, you can grab your dark oak wood. Um, I'm using dark oak because it's a little bit different. Not a lot of people tend to use it either, um, which I find a shame. Uh, I like dark oak. I think dark oak is a pretty cool wood to use. Um, and then here, this one, because um, this will be the way that you get in. Uh, we are Since the door is aligned with this one, correct, correct, you're supposed to see, yeah, it'll, in essence, have slid over like that into this empty spot um that doesn't need to be there um and we'll have slid over into that empty spot so that we can get in how you slide it over you might ask you add a lever no a trip wire hook that's a mouthful um so only one of these doors will slide really um you can add it in the middle but here you go you know what you now you have a sufficient way to get into your um I guess a little villa wine plantation. So experiment with the um, with the whole pattern of using these arches and the doors just to get a basic shape down. Do not do a basic cube. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys to choose what shape you want to do. But um, yeah, come up with something nice. Come up with something that can be kind of cool. And then um, I will get back to you guys in one second. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, kind of kept with the same principle that uh, we had going here in, in the beginning. Um, took it out just a little bit further this way. Smaller arch here, bigger arch here. Note still one gap here at the top. I kept that consistent, even though the um, ground elevation was changing, and that's something important to do. Um, you know, added a few little windows in here instead. Um, up top, you know, we got this bigger tower. We've got a door that'll come out back here. Um, 
few little extra windows over here. We've got the main entrance that'll be here instead of kind of like the back garage where the wine barrels go into. And then here we've got another small tower. And now since this one is smaller, you could see straight through these windows if I had another one right here. That's why I have it on the corner here instead to avoid that kind of weird see-through almost like building quality that we don't want to have in our um, buildings. Now, um, I also kind of mixed up the depth with being flat. This kind of makes your eye do a little bit more work and be like, okay, this seems closer than this does. It's a different material, blah, 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 you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's not very, um, it just adds a little bit of um, variation to it. Now, um, we haven't used the crack blocks. I will tell you why in a second. Um, if you do not have world edit at your disposal, <laughs> disposal. Um, then you may need to do this by hand, but since I do, I will not, but I'll show you guys the whole world edit command in order to do this. Um, now, as far as windows go, never use full box, always use panes. Panes add much more depth than windows do. Um, so let's see, what do we want? Do we want to try it with wood? Or do we want to try it with glass? Frankly, I kind of like wood. And so I'm going to use wood up here on these smaller windows for various reasons, because I personally find it adds a little bit more contrast to it. There's a different type of color going on. Uh, we are using 1.7.10, so that is why I am not using all those nice new textures from uh, the, 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 the new update. Um, here, since we are on the ground floor and we do not want burglaries, we are going to use glass um glass is a little bit more thick it makes sense to have it on the bottom layer versus the upper layer um in this way it kind of makes your eye do a little bit more work and thinking oh okay those two are different floors they must have different materials yeah 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 blah 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 so on so on so on um okay that's that's, that's starting to look good um now let's work on the roof okay roof Woofs are hard. Um, okay, let's not be autistic about it. Um, roofing is a difficult subject, and I'm going to be using a acacia wooden slabs. Now, you guys might be asking yourself, why the hell is he using acacia? Uh, actually, I kind of want to see if this looks better. Uh, maybe, maybe, but I will tell you why I am using acacia. Because I think that acacia is underused, and um, I know I'm right in saying that. Um, not a lot of people use it, they find it ugly, and it can be. It can be very hideous when used improperly. But you're going to go ahead and want to do a roof like this. Make sure you have doubles on the edge, because you do not want to see all those ugly blocks on the inside. If you only have a one thick, like, like if I go like this like that you don't want that um plus it's also easier to build like this um also notice how the center is off center um that is intentional it's not done on accident um that is very much done on intention um oops do do this that's me screwing up um that's done on purpose um kind of makes the building feel like it's a little bit bigger to have a off center center um Y'all might be thinking, whoa, he's tripping. What the hell is he doing? No, not tripping. I uh, definitely know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, anyway, we are just going to build this back quickly. Um, and then here, let me show you guys how to do these pointed roofs. Um, same thing, pick a direction. I'm going to go the opposite direction that this one was in. So I'm going to go this direction instead. But same principle. Uh, do the same thing, just pick a direction and um, go with it. Or if you don't like doing that, you could always have a pointed top too, which is what we'll do on that one. So then I can show you guys all three different types of roofs. Um, so yeah, I will get on that and I will be back in, well, it'll probably be about 20 minutes, but um, a few seconds for you guys. So I will be right back. Okay, so we are back. Um, I got these roofs pretty much finished. Uh, the sun is setting, so let me go ahead and make that daytime. Here's the spiral. Here's a long ways. Here is the... Oh, uh, did I make that the same direction? Oops. Okay. 
Uh, ah, that works, kind of. Ah, I kind of like it, I kind of don't. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to shoot. This will be important to... It's probably a good thing I messed that up, um, because this is a good lesson for y'all to learn. Um, yeah, mix it up a little bit. Don't always go the same direction. Um, that stuff gets boring after a while, and you don't want the eye to get bored. The eye is something that needs, like, crack. Think of it like this. you feeding the eye crack cocaine. Crack cocaine. Um, do not take that as a excuse to do crack cocaine, because I told you to. Um, but anyway, um, you want to stimulate the eye, and the only way to do that is with mixing it up just a little bit. Um, I'm trying to be efficient in the way that I explain this while trying to go as quick as I can because I do not want this to be too long. Um, yeah, anyway, there you go. There are your roofs and your um, walls and ceiling done. Although you may notice you do have these little things there. So that's why I told you do the doubles because it is much, much easier to clean up than not doing it. Um, so all you have to do here, look at this. Easy, easy, done. See? Um, if you had doubles, you would have had to have, like, done, oops, excuse me, um, done a little bit more work than that. Um, yes, the inside will need extra tweaking, uh, that is, that is known, that is duly noted, um, however, however, I think we're pretty much getting there. Now, what I do want to show you is that if you do have world edit, this might be a little bit easier for you. If you don't, I apologize, but each pause one. We'll select the block that you were looking at, and then if I just come up here, um, I'll do pause two, and that will be the block on below. What is this? Um, what is white stained clay? Uh, I have a plugin that will show me, MB wand. This is 159.0. So I can get rid of that, slash slash replace 98, which is stone, to 159, which is that. Um, so it is nice. Some of these buildings do have like clay roofs. They're not all stone. You know, it is a little bit mixed and matched. Um, now I could be consistent and do that over here, but why not? Why not leave this one different? This one kind of looks a little cool different. Um, okay. So now the last thing that we're going to do is this should not take you very long at all is find a wood type that you like. Um, I think I'm going to go for, uh, Spruce, in this case, um, grab a uh, grass block, um, unless podsole works. Podsole might work. Podsoil, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know if you can put plants on podsole. Oh, you can. Okay, let's use podsole instead. Let's mix this up a little bit. And then you're going to grab a trap door. Now, you might know where this is going. You might not know where this is going. But flower pots. <laughs> flower pots add a, a lot of... Um, dimension to a build. Um, they give the eye something else to look at and just a little bit of color and make a dull surface seem much more exciting. So to do that, as you may be watching me, put some puzzle on the upper layers in front of your windows. Um, now, you don't necessarily need to do them all and I'm not going to tell you to do them all, but uh, definitely kind of try and mix it up for be somewhat consistent. Uh, bring this up. Hello. Yeah. Um, and then I believe we had two more over here, didn't we? Yes, we did. Um, I don't do this on the bottom floors because I don't find that it is appropriate to have these things on the bottom floor. Yeah, go ahead and just tap those off with, uh, with um, trapdoors. And then think of a theme that you want. Think of a color scheme that you want to have, like uh, blue, purple, red, yellow. Green, I don't know, whatever you want to do. I like blue, white, and green. I was you thought I was going to say blue, white, and red for America. No. Um, I like blue, white, and green. So I like to take the blue orchid, the azura bluette, and a fern. And I just pop these on in no particular order. I kind of, oops, didn't mean to do that cycle through. But definitely, definitely mix these up, you know, just kind of keep a scheme that you like. I like this scheme. It's always worked for me. Been quite a, quite a cool scheme. Uh, and there's that done. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is come all the way up here, 
pause one. This is if you have rolled edit. If you don't, you will need to do this by hand, but you will need to take the mossy stone and the cracked stone, and you will need to replace a whole bunch of IDs by hand. Uh, pause two. And then you can do replace 98, right? And we want to do 98. Let's do 50% 98, which you do 50% 98, comma, 25% 98, colon, 1, which is mossy or broken, I forget, and then 25% 98, colon, 2, which will replace these blocks in random, completely random, but it adds a little bit more color to it, it makes it a little bit more poppy and then um the very wait did i already say the last thing i meant this is probably gonna be the last thing um bushes um y'all probably saw this coming uh bushes help pick a corner any corner um just kind of weave your way up in no particular order about it but um definitely um do it in the corners it helps a lot with the corners it helps fill it up it helps make the build look a little bit bigger um a little bit nicer too i find and then, um, yeah, don't be afraid to kind of work the terrain around this too to make it work for what you're doing. Um, yeah, that's a big issue. People seem to have, they either want to build completely around the terrain or don't want to touch the terrain at all. That's not good. Just do whatever you need to do to make this look good. And then, uh, oops, and put a couple of these down. And then you are pretty much looking happy. Um, very cool, very simple, uh, simple thing. Okay, here, this is an issue I have. Um, glass now joins, and this is looking very bland. How do you make this not look so bland? You can take some, uh, fence posts, and you can almost make like a mini roof for your window. And since we are using spruce, in this case, for the exterior we will keep with spruce and then you can bring this down like that it kind of makes it look a little bit more fancy fancy uh do i have another big three by three window i think i do right here yeah um again same thing even though this is on the bottom okay we are i know i'm on the bottom Ooh, can't get in here um let's place that up um yeah just work these guys in um don't don't be afraid to do it because that'll be your downfall. But there you go. Oop, shoot. <laughs> there you go. Um, it looks a little better. Maybe add a little bit of variation in it. I don't know. Maybe like that. Maybe, maybe like this. Like that. You know, it's looking better. It kind of keeps with the shape of it too here. In our case, we can't really specifically do that, can we? No. Well. 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 Let's do it from down here. That's a little weird. I don't know. <laughs> we will leave it for now. And then, you know, you can add some front porch steps to your um, building, which is, you know, it's a pretty basic thing, but surprisingly people forget to do this. Um, and I got to mix it up and then throw a torch there for good measure. And then you're looking pretty pretty right now. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's a fairly basic thing. Nothing too fancy is going on, especially up here on top. I mean, if you wanted to be really detailed, which we do, uh, you can add trap doors. And I only add trap doors on windows that are feasible. If I have a three wide window, I will not add a trap door because two on each side does not cover three blocks. Um, it'll only cover two of the blocks. Um, so I don't get why people do that. That's a very weird... This the scissor, in my opinion. Um, still a couple of these guys on. Uh, they do look a little bizarre with shaders, but that is okay. Um, I'll do these on the outside. Kind of mix them up where you place them too. I don't know. I don't know. But there you go. There we're looking pretty. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode we will get into the interior and how to decorate. Ooh, my phone's vibrating. We will get into how to do the interior of this. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want the world downloaded, it is in the description. Uh, this has been an epic wine plantation exterior. Um, yeah, please leave a comment, like, and if you would like to be notified when part two comes out, uh, subscribe and you will be notified.
too late in your subscription list. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in a little bit.